Hi everybody and welcome to HPG Bricks. My name is Hadley and I'm new here to the LEGO YouTube world. So for my first video I thought I would do a little bit of an introduction and let you know what I'm about. So my goal for this channel is to basically just get myself out there in the LEGO YouTube world. I want to do some haul videos and some set reviews, some speed builds maybe, um, maybe some collection overviews, just that kind of stuff. All the, the usual LEGO YouTube stuff. Keep a lookout for all those videos, because I'm sure they'll be coming. Um, one thing is, though, I'm not super into all of the all the tech stuff that goes with filming videos. I don't have a big fancy camera or any of the editing software or even the skills to do it. I can basically probably just meld two videos together and make them into one, so that's probably going to be the extent of what you're seeing. So I thought that could kind of be like the brand of my channel is that all my videos are just going to be filmed on my laptop and like super uncut, whatever happens, happens. You'll see me making mistakes and dropping things and all that stuff, so I think that can be kind of fun. So, so we'll make it work. So I thought I'd just tell you a little bit about myself. Some of my favorite LEGO things to collect would be Creator Expert, I like the modular buildings and all of the amusement park stuff that they've been doing recently. I also collect a lot of city stuff. I have a lot of the buildings and the trains. I really like the trains. Uh, I have all this stuff in hopes of putting together a city one day. Hopefully one day I'll have a nice big room and some nice big tables where I can just lay out an awesome Lego city and make that a part of my videos as well. So that's one goal for me in the future, maybe not anytime soon, but definitely as time progresses. Um, I also collect the collectible minifigure series. I have all of those. I'm sure I will do a video about them at some point. And I like to build some of my own things. So I might be doing some mock videos and showing you what I can do and what kind of pieces I have that I have made things out of. So. I'll probably be doing some mock stuff, and then, like I said, set reviews, speed builds, city stuff, that kind of stuff. So I hope that you're interested in that, and if you are, definitely stick around. Um, I hope that my first impression is going well so far. So I know everybody likes a good haul, and I'm sure I'm going to have some of those coming up for you, but I figured for my first video I could start off with one of those too. So I recently went to Walmart. I got some some of the sets I wanted. I have a bag full of goodies here. Now with all of the 2019 sets and the Lego Movie 2 coming out and everything, I found some of these. I'm a sucker for some poly bags. So I'm on the hunt for all of the Lego Movie 2 poly bags. I believe this is the fourth different one that I have, so there's still a couple that I have to get. But I've had my eye on this one, and it finally popped up at my Walmart, so I got that. And then I saw, once I got those, I saw these also. Got two of these little creator cars. They're also new for 2019. Um, I'm obviously going to keep one for myself, and I'm hoping to sell one on my BrickLink store. There's another tidbit of information. I do own and operate a BrickLink store. It's actually right here next to me. I'm sure I'll do a video about that also. So there's those poly bags. Um, the set that I really had my eye on that I went to Walmart for is this one here. The Benny's, Benny's Space Squad for the Lego Movie 2. It's like the only other Lego Movie 2 set that I wanted just because it's a cool collection of space minifigures and it's small enough that it's only 10 bucks. I don't mind spending the 10 bucks, but I really wanted to have it. And I decided to get it at Walmart because it's back ordered on Lego. It's super popular. Uh, the Lego stores that I've gone to recently didn't even have them in the store, so I decided to go to Walmart and try to get one. Funny story, this was the last one that they had, so I guess I had pretty good timing. It was meant to be I got the one set that I wanted. And then, when I got that set, they also had this one. It's the Black Panther Rhino Face-Off by the Mine set. You see the $15 clearance sticker here? There was a price scanner right nearby, so I just double-checked. It was only $9. So I picked this superhero set up for $9. Usually when I can find a set like this on clearance, um, I'll, I'll part it out. I'll take out the pieces that I want. 
especially have my eye on these roller coaster pieces and maybe some of the tiles and stuff. But I'm going to part it out, and what I don't keep for myself, I will be listing in my Bricklink store. So these minifigures and all the rhino parts and everything. So yeah, that's kind of what I do with what I find, especially a good set on a good sale for clearance like this. I will be parting it out and putting it in my Bricklink store, hoping to sell some of it. So yeah, just thought I'd show you guys a little bit of a haul to start off, maybe get off on the right foot. And I think that's all I have for my first YouTube video. Uh, I hope that you guys like what you hear and see, obviously. So I'm hoping that you'll stick along for my adventure of me just sharing my Lego life with you guys. Alright, thank you. Bye.